today's project diary I will teach you how to collect free tomato seeds. Hi and welcome to project diaries. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to harvest free tomato seeds. Now this technique works regardless to whether you've got beef tomatoes, regular tomatoes or cherry tomatoes and here's the best way on how to do it. I'd like to start this video off by thanking my local greengrocer who gives me a box of food waste every week for my compost so I've managed to rescue these tomatoes from which I'll collect all the seeds from. So for regular tomatoes it's fairly simple, you just cut them down the centre. Now you can do the same thing with beef tomatoes but they tend to have way more seeds so I'm just going to cut out a small section. Now the cherry tomatoes won't have as many seeds but you can just do the same thing and cut them down the centre. Hopefully the sound of the rain won't affect the audio on this recording but the next step is all you need to do is gently scrape out the seeds from the side. Now just get a couple of sheets of kitchen roll and try to soak up some of that moisture. Now you can just scrape the seeds onto the kitchen roll but I seem to have picked up enough so I'm just going to show you how to do the next step. Using the back of a spoon you just need to push the seeds around until all the sliminess has come off. Now this part does take a bit of time and I know a lot of you have commented about my farm now but it really does help when you need to pick up small seeds like this. Now no matter what variety or what size of tomato you get the seeds tend to stay the same size so as you can see they're quite small. Now there seems to be a lot of misinformation on the internet saying that if you can't get all this gel off the seeds won't germinate but as you can see these seeds have been germinating inside the tomato so it's perfectly fine. This only affects the preservation of the seeds if you want to use them for the following year. Once you finish collecting all your seeds you just need to put them on some kitchen roll and dry them out for a few hours. Then place them in your homemade seed packets and don't forget to label the back for each variety. If you don't know how to make these free seed packets, check out the video link at the end. So that's my quick and easy tip on how to collect tomato seeds. Now you know how to collect them, I'm going to show you in the next video on how to grow them. I'll also do another follow up video on how to keep plants healthy, such as the ones in the background. Now if you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future videos, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care. I hope this video will help you collect your own tomato seeds. Here are some links to some of my other videos. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to check out my channel at youtube.com forward slash Project Diaries HQ. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.